Once upon a time, a zombie apocalypse swept the world, and the undead rose from their graves to feast on the living. Among them was a zombie who seemed to possess a strange intelligence and a desire for power. This zombie turned out to be none other than Donald Trump, who had somehow managed to survive the initial outbreak and now sought to control the hordes of the undead. Trump quickly established himself as the leader of the zombies, using his charisma and business acumen to organize them into a formidable force. He led them on a rampage across the country, taking over cities and towns and turning them into zombie strongholds. However, as the zombies settled into their new way of life, they began to develop new abilities and interests. Some of them discovered that they could use their powers to heal the sick and injured, and they started a clinic to provide medical care to their fellow zombies. This was a major turning point for the zombies, as they began to see themselves not as monsters, but as a community with a common goal of survival. But not all the zombies were content with this new direction. A faction of alt-right zombies, led by a charismatic zombie who advocated for a return to the old ways of mindless violence and destruction, broke away from Trump's group and started a civil war among the zombies. The conflict between the two factions was brutal and devastating, as the alt-right zombies unleashed their full fury on the more moderate zombies. But in the end, Trump's group emerged victorious, and the alt-right zombies were defeated and banished from the zombie community. With the civil war over, the zombies were finally able to focus on rebuilding their society and finding a way to coexist with the remaining human population. Though they were still feared and shunned by many, they were determined to prove that they were more than just mindless monsters and that they could contribute to the world in their own unique way. As the zombies clinic continued to operate and heal the sick, they made a breakthrough discovery. They developed a cure for the zombie virus, which would allow those infected to return to their human form. Excited by this news, they immediately began administering the cure to their fellow zombies. However, they soon realized that the cure had an unintended side effect. Instead of returning the infected to their human form, it actually caused the virus to mutate and create even more powerful and aggressive zombies. These newly created zombies were even more dangerous than before and quickly spread the virus to more and more people, causing the zombie apocalypse to worsen. Trump and his group quickly realized that this new development was a major threat to their newfound sense of community and stability. They knew that they had to find a way to stop the spread of this new strain of the virus before it was too late. They worked tirelessly to develop a counter-cure to neutralize the effects of the original cure, but it was too late, the new strain of the virus had spread widely and the zombie population grew exponentially. The zombie were faced with a difficult decision, they could either accept their fate as monsters and continue to spread the virus, or they could use their newfound intelligence and abilities to find a way to coexist with the remaining human population. They decided to work together with the remaining human population to find a way to survive and control the virus, they created a new society where zombies and humans live in harmony. The story ends with the reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for a better future and the power of cooperation and understanding can overcome any obstacle. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking the video and subscribe to be notified of freshly baked, frightfully generic stories.